You are listening to Sinu Podcast. This program is a collaboration between the Kapurei Communication and Alumni Relations Center and the Language Institute. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Sinu Podcast. And today, the news is successful age estimation in dugongs. So let's hear the news from Mr. Clayton Shuttleworth. Thank you, Ashley. Age estimation in dugongs based on telomere length by using a molecular biology technique is another successful collaboration between the Faculty of Veterinary Medicine, Chiangmai University, and the Phuket Marine Biology Center. The Faculty of Veterinary Medicine, CMU, in collaboration with the Phuket Marine Biology Center, Department of Marine and Coastal Resources, Ministry of Natural Resources and Environment, was successful at estimating dugong's age by measuring the telomere length in cells by using molecular biology technique. This novel approach to age estimation has advantages over the existing technique of measuring the light bands in the front tooth, which has many limitations. The dugong is a marine mammal whose population has significantly decreased. In Thailand, only about 200 remain, mostly found in the Trang area. As an endangered animal, it is protected by several laws, including the Fisheries Act, BE 2490 or 1947, the National Park Act, BE 2490 or 1947, the Wildlife Conservation and Protection Act, BE 2535 or 1992, and the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora. Conservation of this mammal is difficult because it cannot be bred and its survivability in a confined space is low, as can be seen from the cases of baby dugongs, Mariam or Yamil. Associate Professor Gorakot Nganwong Panit, the head researcher from the Faculty of Veterinary Medicine, explains that a molecular biology technique is used to measure the length of telomere, which is the end of a chromosome. There have been studies on several animals, including humans, and the results vary. It was effective in some, but not in others, with several limitations and details. However, this study was able to come up with an equation to predict a dugong's age with 86% accuracy, which is extremely high. Moreover, the fact that dugongs become fully mature at the age of 20 is a novel discovery, and these findings have been validated as the research has already been published in an international journal. What is gained from this study is the age data of dugongs, with or without the tusks, and this technique can be applied to estimating the age of living dugongs as well. Dr. Kongkiet Kitiwatrawong, director of the Phuket Marine Biology Center, adds that estimating a dugong's age has always been difficult, as the old technique of counting the light bands in a dugong's tusks or snout is extremely limiting, because the snouts are usually stolen before an official gets to the bodies. Moreover, this technique does not work if the snout is damaged, and nor does it work for living dugongs. That is the reason why this study offers tremendous benefits, because the analysis of extracted DNA can provide an estimated age. Even if the technique is not 100% accurate, its benefit is significant enough for other agencies to employ it. Thank you very much, and that's it for today. Please stay tuned to the next episode of CMU Podcast on YouTube, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Until next time, thank you and goodbye.